founded during the early days of the rush to the gold diggings, the picturesque town of Creswick, 12 miles from Ballarat, celebrates its centenary. During the week of celebrations, a function of considerable historic interest centered around the School of Forestry. The unveiling of the memorial in memory of the late Sir Alexander Peacock, KCMG. A memorable day for the school, and particularly so for the principal, Dr. F. R. Moulds and Mrs. Moulds, as they leave to take part in the ceremony at the entrance gates. Those assembled at the gates were welcomed by the principal and also by Mr. Lawrence, the acting chairman of the Forest Commission of Victoria. While in drizzling rain, appropriate references to the occasion were made by Mr. Russell White, MLA. As Mr. Lawrence introduced the Honourable Sir Albert Lind, MLA, an unexpected burst of sunshine, as if in honour of the historic ceremony, added momentary brilliance to the scene. Speaking at length of the high personal and public esteem in which Sir Alexander Peacock was held, not only in Victoria, but throughout Australia, Sir Albert then unveiled the memorial. I can assure you, my friends, that I was never prouder than I am at the moment in now dedicating these gates to the memory of one of the greatest statesmen, the Commonwealth, and the Empire has known. These gates were erected as a tribute to the memory of the Honourable Sir Alexander James Peacock, KCMG, 1861 to 1933, Premier of Victoria and Minister of Forest, to whose inspiration and initiative the establishment of the school was largely due dedicated by the Honourable Sir Albert Lind, MLA, Minister for Lands and Forest on the 10th of October, 1952. Opportunity was taken by many to inspect the school. For others, memories turned back to the old days of 30 and 40 years ago. While the son, apparently satisfied by having attended the ceremony, retired again behind the rain clouds for the remainder of the day. Among the guests were Mr. Simmons, immediate past principal, and Mr. Gay, his predecessor, and further back still, Mr. Hutt, today an octogenarian, but in 1910, the first master and principal of the School of Forestry. Uh, without the flora, of course. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. And so, another milestone has passed. A milestone in the history of the school. A milestone in the history of the town. A fitting and lasting memorial to a great Australian, Alexander James Peacock.